people come in and they want to see stuff, you know, feel free to let them hold it, poke it, play with the pipe stem, thing. We have reached the end of our summer excavation season in Anthropology 1130, and today is results day, which we have every time we do the class so we can have students engage with the public, share what they found, talk about their work, and what it means for the history of Harvard and the project. This is the top layer that we removed from the site, so it's going to be the most recent artifacts, and basically what you see is just a bunch of plastics. So this is a piece of what we believe to be refined um, earthenware yeah, that we found in uh, level hit, three of our day. Like they weren't found together, but they were found in the same yeah. area, yeah, so we, we thought also. maybe they fit together, and they did, which was really cool. This summer, the students have made really great progress in going through and excavating some recent fill levels, but also they've started to get into some of the 19th century history of Harvard Yard and all the construction and destruction and modification of the landscape. This is seen through some of the soils that you can see the unit, but also all of the artifacts that the students chose to bring out and to lay out on the tables and talk with the public about as well. This larger piece is porcelain made in China for the export market. And this is the trefoil design in cobalt, hand painted on this porcelain. And this piece was probably made in England almost a hundred years later than this piece. Where we'll go from here in the fall is we'll cover this up temporarily and then when the fall semester starts we'll have the undergraduate iteration of the class come back here and pick up where the summer school left off. We want to get in the fall all the way back down to the 17th century and see what's down there.